What I want to show you now are the blood vessels associated with the heart. So let's start with these veins at the top that merge to form the superior vena cava. So this vein here is the left brachiocephalic vein. And that's formed from the left internal jugular vein and the left subclavian vein. And this vein here represents the right brachiocephalic vein. And they form the superior vena cava. They merge to form the superior vena cava. And underneath we see the lumen of the inferior vena cava. Now leaving the right ventricle we see the main pulmonary trunk here. And this divides into the left pulmonary artery taking blood to the left lung and the right pulmonary artery taking blood to the right lung. This major vessel here leaving the left ventricle is the aorta and we can't see it on this model but the right and the left coronary artery have already left the aorta by this level. Now this vessel here leaving the aorta is the brachiocephalic arterial trunk and shortly that will divide into the right common carotid artery and the right subclavian artery. This one is the left common carotid artery. So the left common carotid artery, unlike the right common carotid artery, the left common carotid artery leaves directly from the arch of the aorta whereas the right common carotid artery the blood first travels up through this brachiocephalic trunk and this vessel here is the left subclavian artery carrying blood off to the left arm and other places. Now if we look down here we see the coronary arteries in red and the coronary arteries are so called because they form a crown shaped arrangement around the heart, around the base of the heart this is the base of the heart around here and the apex is that bit down there. Now first of all we notice the right coronary artery here and in fact we can just see there where the right coronary artery is leaving the aorta. So that's the right coronary artery and that supplies the right atrium here as well, although that's not obvious from this model. Coming down here, down the right side of the heart, we have the right marginal branch going down the right lateral surface of the heart 
And then we see the right coronary artery goes around to the back of the heart. So we're now looking at the posterior surface of the heart. And we see the posterior interventricular branch going down here between the ventricles, often just called the posterior descending artery. And quite commonly in clinical practice, we see people with inferior myocardial infarctions affecting the bottom part of the heart and about, oh, about 80% of inferior myocardial infarctions are caused by occlusions in the right coronary artery. Coming round to the left side of the heart, just here, coming under the pulmonary artery there, there is the left coronary artery. So here we have the left coronary artery and we see here it's dividing and there's a major artery goes down here. In most people this is a more single major vessel, not particularly well illustrated here. One large vessel going down with branches going off it. That's the left anterior descending artery or the anterior interventricular branch of the left coronary artery but we normally call that the lad the left anterior descending and then here going round towards the left lateral side of the heart we have the diagonal branch of the left coronary artery and then going round here this artery branching off from the main branch of the or from the common trunk of the left coronary artery this artery going round the back of the heart from the left side is the circumflex artery so that is the circumflex artery going around the back. Now, if we look towards the veins now, first of all at the back, first of all at the back of the heart, this area here is the coronary sinus. The coronary sinus, it's an enlarged area. And the coronary sinus drains through here into the right atrium. So the coronary sinus draining all the blood from the myocardium back into the right atrium. And this vein here going up is the middle cardiac vein. The vein coming round from this side is the small cardiac vein. This vein going up here is the posterior cardiac vein. And this vein coming round from this side, that is the great cardiac vein. And we see here an ascending vein going into the great cardiac vein, the anterior interventricular vein. So really only for main cardiac veins, great cardiac vein, small cardiac vein, middle cardiac vein, posterior cardiac vein, but all draining relatively deoxygenated blood back into the right atrium.
these are the pulmonary veins draining back into the left atrium. So the inferior and superior vena cava draining into the right atrium and the four pulmonary veins draining into the left atrium. So that's some of the vasculature associated with the heart.